Hello dancers, welcome back to my channel. My name's Claudia Dean and if you're new here, then welcome. Today I have a very exciting video because I'm going to be taking you through my favorite exercises that you should be doing leading up to all of your ballet competitions. Now also, because I know a few of you may want to ask me this, one of my favorite competitions that I ever competed in was called the YAGP, the Youth America Grand Prix in New York. And I'm really excited to announce that I'm actually collaborating with them on this video to bring you all of the best exercises that you need to do whenever you're preparing for any competition. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, of course, and also the YAGP's YouTube channel as well because I'm uploading a very special video on their channel very soon. All I want you to go and quickly grab is your power band or any resistant band that you have. So let's get straight into it. Okay, actually before I get into it, meet my little puppy Gigi. Oh, how cute is she? She's a mini dash hound. You're so cute. Now think of how often we do our retire position. So lift your leg up into Retire dances and just have a feel of how open your hips currently feel right now. I personally don't feel like my hips feel very open, but that's about to change with this key exercise. So what I want you to do, dancers, is just grab something to hold on to. I'm just using a little bar stool, or you could grab a bar, a bench top, whatever's close by. And all I want you to do is tie your power band just above your knees, exactly like I'm doing right now. I want you to make sure too that it's in quite a tight double knot. So it looks exactly like that. Now all you're going to do is grab your stool and just stand on your right or left foot. You can do either foot at the moment. I'm picking to lift up my left leg in retire because that's my weaker leg. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna lift up our leg into almost a parallel retire like this. And now all I want you to simply do is drop your left or right hip down, whichever one's your working leg. And then I want you to really zip up your supporting leg. That's it. Now here, I just want you to open out that left or right knee, whichever leg you're doing as far as you can. That's it. And then go back to parallel and then repeat it. Go open, 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 and then back to parallel. Okay, let's do six more. And open, open, open. Good, that's one. Back in, now go open, that's two. Back in, then three, good, back in. Then go four, good, in, then go five, that's it. Last one, six, good. Now try and do a retire, lift your leg up. See how much more open you feel? It literally works like magic. And we use Retire so much in our variations, in pirouettes, just in balances. So having the right amount of turnout strength for your Retire is so important. And this one here, Retire turnouts with power bend will give you that. Now for exercise number two, this one's going to improve your arabesque. So everyone keep your power bend with you. And what I want you to do is keep the bar stool or bench top or bar with you as well. And just try lifting your leg up into an arabesque. Again, have a feel of how high your leg's going. And remember, it's about to get so much higher. So what I want you to do is tie your power band around whichever foot you decide to do and you're going to do a really tight double knot. And then I actually want you to stand on the other end of the power band exactly like this. There. Now all I want you to do dancers is grab your bench top or bar stool or bar and lift up your leg as high as you can. That's it. Now what you're going to do is eight pulses. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now let's do it again. We're gonna do four more sets. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more sets, you're doing well. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And last set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, good. Now take your foot out of the power band. And what I want you to do is now lift your leg up into the arabesque again. See how much easier that feels? 
It's honestly so much easier dances. So remember, we do so many arabesques in all of our variations and throughout class. So this is such a handy one for you to do on both sides every day. Now you're about to learn my third exercise called bent knee calf rises. Now, if you're struggling with jumps, getting over the top of your point shoe or your feet, this key exercise is really gonna improve all of those things. And it's such a great stamina one for your calves. So what we're gonna do is we're going to basically keep holding on to our bar, and then we're going to place one foot down in the ground, and we're gonna lift up our opposite foot in parallel petit retire. Now you're just gonna plie down on that supporting leg. Now all you're going to do, dancers, is rise up on that supporting foot to about 70% high so you're not going all the way up like this and you're not doing a little bit like this it's about 70 percent and then go back down and then try it again go up 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 go towards your third toe so you're not rolling inwards or outwards you're going towards your third toe and then going back down now try it again go up 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 that's it and you should feel it in this lower area of your calf right there and then again, go back down. Now we're gonna try 16 all together. So let's prepare, hold onto the bar, lift up that working leg to parallel petit retire and fondue down on our supporting leg. And let's go for 16. And one, down, two, good, three, and four. You should feel it now. Five, and six, and seven, good, eight, lift up that supporting hip, nine, and 10, that's it, 11, Gigi's here, 12, good, 13, three more, 14, might be a little bit shaky, that's right, and last one. Good, doesn't that really hurt the calves? But in a good way, because again, we need calf endurance for everything we do in classical ballet. This is so good as well for your fuetes when you have to do a lot of releves on one foot. So keep this one up dancers leading up to your competitions. Now my Claudia Dean World dancers, if you really enjoyed this video, guess what? <laughs> Now my Claudia Dean World dancers, if you're loving this video so far, then guess what? We're uploading the full entire version on the YAGP YouTube channel. So what I want you to do is go there, subscribe to that channel right now, because in a couple of days, the entire video is gonna be up and there's eight key exercises that you need to learn in total. Thank you so much for watching, dancers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you enjoyed this little snippet. I'll see you very soon. Bye, dancers.